Now, there's no more poignant or painful reminder of how important it is that we do so than the loss experienced by Dennis and Judy Shepard, whose son Matthew was stolen in a terrible act of violence 11 years ago. In May, I met with Judy, who's here tonight with her husband. I met her in the Oval Office, and I promised her that we were going to pass an inclusive hate crimes bill, a bill named for her son. This struggle has been long. Time and again, we faced opposition. Time and again, the measure was defeated or delayed, but the shepherds never gave up. They turned tragedy into an unshakable commitment. Countless activists and organizers never gave up. You held vigils, you spoke out. Year after year, Congress after Congress, the House passed the bill again this week, and I can announce that after more than a decade, this bill is set to pass and I will sign it into law.